Meghan Markle and Kate have had their every move scrutinized after rumors of a feud between the duchesses emerged but new claims suggest the royals took matters into their hands and struck a pact to act more friendly while in public together. Meghan Markle and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge have been dogged by persistent rumors of a feud after royal sources claimed the Duchess of Sussex reduced her sister-in-law to tears shortly before her wedding to Prince Harry. According to commentator Katie Nichols, Meghan and Kate decided to take over the narrative of their feud and struck a pact to act cordially when appearing in public together to mitigate the rumor mill. Speaking to Entertainment Tonight, Ems Nichols said, I understand both of them have agreed that, for the sake of appearances, they really wanted to look as if they get on. They both realize that the idea of a feud, a royal catfight, between two duchesses doesn't help any of them. Ems Nichol also claimed the friendliness between Meghan and Kate extends to the home, as the pair is currently living in neighboring flats inside Kensington Palace in central London. She continued, they really are just across the courtyard and apparently they have been in text touch. Occasionally, Kate invites Meghan over for tea but they haven't had a hugely close relationship. Meghan and Harry are however scheduled to move from central London to take up residence at Frogmore Cottage, on the Windsor estate, before the birth of their child sometime in April. Ems Nichol said the Duchess of Sussex is soon expected to put her feet up to enjoy the last few weeks of her pregnancy while Kate increases the number of her public engagement. She added, as Meghan prepares to put her feet up, it really looks as if Kate is now using this as her chance to take center stage. We saw her out this week visiting a children's center, that was a duchess that means business and that's what she's getting down to. With the due date of the royal baby fast approaching, speculation about baby Sussex has been rife, with the name Diana emerging as a top contender to become the name of the latest addition to the royal family. Should Harry and Meghan decided to pay tribute to the late Princess Diana? The new royal baby would become the second member of the family to bear the name after Princess Charlotte, whose full name is Charlotte Elizabeth Diana. When the 37-year-old former actress gives birth, the Queen will be the first person to be informed. After Her Majesty revels in the happy news, there will then be a public announcement and other members of the new parents' family will be informed. The announcement always traditionally been on an easel outside Buckingham Palace. Social media however has become a more popular method of sharing news in this day and age, so people may find out through Twitter. Prince William and Kate used the internet when they announced the birth of Prince George in July 2013.